along the right field line. And Rizzo on the ledge. He's got it. Oh, what a play. <laughs> well, the bobblehead company. We got the tarp catch. Now we got the ledge catch. Both against the Milwaukee Brewers. Give them the gold glove right now. Yasiel Puig pinch hitting. And he will hit a ground ball toward short. Russell goes to Baez one. Over to first. The Cubs are going to the World Series. The Cubs win the pennant. And again the 2-2. And here it is. And swung it. Hit the left field deep. Way back. Ruiz turning around. He will watch a game-winning grand slam for Chris Davis in the bottom of the ninth inning. Do you believe that? A's 8, Texas 5. And it's Davis's third home run tonight. They're going wild at the Coliseum. Tuesday night baseball here on the show from Chase Field in Phoenix. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the New York Mets and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Stay tuned for Diamondbacks baseball next. Zach Grinke, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. Harold, what do you got? As I look at this ball game today, one thing to keep an eye on is his at bats against the right-handers, his approach against right-handed hitters, because right-handed hitters are hitting under 250 against him, and those are the guys that he's going to have to exploit if he wants to win this ball game. Stepping up to the plate, Jose Reyes, and as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Here's Grenke's 1-2. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's 2-2 two two now. Temperature at first pitch. There it is, 79 degrees as we get things started tonight. And here's a ball hit in the air. Goldschmidt is there for it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, Matty, I've been very impressed with Asdrubal Cabrera. Looking at his stats, I was really impressed with the fact that he's hit four bombs in his last ten games. Lately, he's been the guy to watch, and I think he's ready to do some more damage right now. Here now is Asdrubal Cabrera. Career line against Greinke comes in with 15 hits in 35 ABs. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Peralta going back. Gone! A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Seven home runs for him on the year now. And the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. Hey, there are certain guys in every lineup that you do not want to beat. And this guy right now is swinging the bat so well, I'm not giving him a chance to do anything. He's too hot right now. Standing in now, Joanna Cespedes. And a 2-1 slider is looked at for a called strike two. Matt, this could be a real special end. They've already hit a home run here, and now the real power is starting to come to the plate. We might be in for a light show. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Hazel Baker looks up. That one's out of here. Back-to-back -back home runs. A solo home run here off the bat of Yoenna Cespedes. Career homer number 149. As the Mets are out in front now, two to nothing.
Boy, not the way you'd like to start a game, right? First inning, you come in, you give up two home runs. We'll see if he can regroup right here. It's not easy to sometimes come back from that. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson. He comes in currently tied for third in home runs on the team. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. Here we are in the first inning. We're watching adjustments be made after giving up that extra base hit. Now that's better location. He's going to have a better day if he does that. And there are our umpires for this one. Working the plate is Dave Lawrence. Matt, the interesting thing about Lawrence, now I think the way he sets up is almost telling you what he's going to call. He'll call one side of the plate more than he will the other. Look at his setup. Maybe that'll help you out. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. He showed right there why having a good changeup is so valuable. Two and two and he flips one up there that the bottom really falls out at the last minute. It's so hard to pick up and it's even harder to make good contact with. Into the box now, Neil Walker. And he misses badly with a fastball here, and it's three and one now. Well, Harold, you take a look at this Diamondback squad as they begin play here tonight. They come in winners of two straight and looking to get things turned around in what hasn't been all that amazing a stretch for them. Well, Matt, it's always nice to play at home, and they got off on the right foot winning the first game of the series here. And they got a chance really to, to win this game and maybe even sweep this series. So the first one's an important game. Another payoff pitch. Grounded to the right. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Mets, two. The Diamondbacks coming up. You're watching. Robert Gesellman will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, he pitched seven complete innings last game, Matt, so very impressive young man. And now he's got a chance to back that performance up again. Ready now, A.J. Pollard. And this is a good looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right handers this season. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Here's the pitch on two and two. Just a Wait. bit low, ball three. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. Swing and a little blooper to center. Granderson comes on now and he has it one down. With that, let's take a look at the hometown Diamondbacks lineup card. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, you've really got to be able to appreciate the incredible talent of Paul Goldschmidt. He's hit over 400 in his last 10 games, and his team, they are really relying on him. He knows he's hot. His teammates know that he's hot, and you can bet the opposing pitcher, he knows he's hot, too. Now at the plate, David Peralta. He begins play in this one with his batting average over the 310 plateau. Hit out towards second. Gloved by Walker. In time to first, and there are two away. Batting good. Range showing off into the hole right there. That's not an easy play, but these guys make it look that way sometimes. Stepping in, Paul Goldschmidt. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. Oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. One and two. Here it comes. And he popped him up. Drifting back behind first. And here's Duda to make the catch. And that's out number three. So one, two, three. Go the Diamondbacks. They're still down. It's two nothing. Here's Jay Bruce now. He's a long ball threat, of course, currently number four in the National League home run race. Here's the one and one pitch. 
The high fastball is in there. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Again a one two. And another foul ball. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Not surprisingly, here, this is on the ground to the right side. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Well, let's take a look at the Diamondbacks defense brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking at Cattell Marte. You know, this young man broke in. You knew he was going to catch the ball, but you weren't sure if he was going to hit. And then when he started playing with Cano, he really helped him slow the game down. And it looked like from that point, Cattell took off. Here's Lucas Duda now. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Bases are empty, one man out. Lifted the other way to left center. Hazel Baker's under it. Two gone. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He's coming off a three hit performance in the loss last night. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And Goldschmidt will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Good work there by Zach Grinke. His club needs to get him some runs, however. It's two zip. Jake Lamb standing in now. He's coming off a big ball game last night in which he accounted for five runs batted in. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. Branderson is under it. He's got it one away. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. They are in the top five and the most errors committed by a team. So it's not just one player that's kicking the ball, but it's been routinely as a team. And when you're giving up that many errors and make that many mistakes, you're not going to win many ball games. Now at the plate, Brendan Drury is not among the league leaders in home runs, but his total does top this ball club. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line and right, but this is going to wind up out of play. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And plenty of room out there for Granderson, and there are two away now. Batting set. Left fielder, Jeremy Hazel Baker. Next will be the left-handed hitting Jeremy Hazel Baker. Carries a batting line in the 280s to begin this one. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Diamondbacks down in order. They trail things here two to nothing. Now batting, Robert Gesellman, 9 1 and 2 due up. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Ready on one and two. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. In now, Jose Reyes. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a swing by Reyes as this is hit on the ground out to second. Throw on to first is in time, and Grinky's got himself two outs. 
Digging in to try it again as Drupal Cabrera. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Here's the one and one pitch. And that one right down Main Street. Look, Matt, he's done a nice job getting those first two outs. I mean, look, this is a good hitting team. And now you got the two hitter coming to the middle of the order. But you can limit the damage by getting those first two outs. I think he's limited the damage so far this inning. Now another one, two. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Hey, that pitch was way down on 2 and 2, but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes, you're more off to expand the strike zone, but he didn't and held off on that one that wasn't even close. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it off. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets as they're unable to add to their 2 0 lead. And that'll bring up Oscar Hernandez. 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up. Six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. And with that, we give you a look at what's happening in the NL East race. And that'll bring in the middle infielder, Cattell Marte. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Ready on one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Set to deal on two and two. Swing and a soft liner. Pro gets him, two down. Coming to the plate now, Zach Grinke. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. High pop up. Walker is there for it, and that's the third out. So one, two, three go the Diamondbacks. They're down two to nothing. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Joanna Cespedes. He'll lead it off against Zach Greinke to open up the inning. Greinke ready now. The 1-1. One, one. And he lays oh, off for a ball. 2-1. and one. Into the windup. Here's the 2-1 and one pitch. Ooh, good changeup just missed inside. Three and one. This guy, whoo, he's a good hitter. This is the kind of count gets him excited. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands a number four. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Show some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Stepping in now, Curtis Granderson. And a curveball here. Good pitch, but a better take, and it's to two and one now. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Hey, this catcher's not known for his throwing ability, so you compound that with a big lead at first base. He had no chance to throw that runner out at second. Two runs on two hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And this is fouled back and out of play. The 2-2 one more time. 
changeup. Cold strike three as he rolls his eyes at the call. One away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Into the box, Neil Walker. Walker lays off there. It's two balls and a strike. Has a look, now the pitch. Takes a knee-high fastball. Two runs on two hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Hit sharply on the ground. Rory gloves it. Throw gets him. Two down. Ready for another chance. Jay Bruce. He's over one thus far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch. If you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. You know, I think this is a big situation in this game. They've got to lead by a couple of runs, but they don't want to look back on this inning when this one's over and think that they left some runs out there on the base path. Scoring more here would be huge. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Well, I think this is the kind of approach they need against such a prolific starter. You can't count on putting up a lot of runs. So getting him out of the game has to be the priority. Working at bats, full counts, running up the pitch count is a great way of doing that. Once again, a 3-2. Again, he sends it out of play. The next 3-2. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. That was an eight pitch at bat, Matt. I was so impressed watching First the pitcher throwing strikes, the batter fighting balls okay. off, and then he ends up getting the base hit. That's just a great baseball play. Standing in now, Lucas Duda. There's a changeup over the outside corner. These guys hitting aren't in first place by accident. They excel at getting out the early lead, so this is a big moment in this game. If they're able to lengthen this lead any more in this inning, they're going to be in really good shape to come away with a win today. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. The relay. Throw won't get him. He just smoked this ball right down the line. Take a look here. Hard to tell if it was fair or foul in real time, but you can see it flies right over the bag. Ump was all over it and made a great call. Into the box now. Travis Darno. That's in there. Base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Man, he turned on that fastball right there. Ripped the line drive and scored the run easy. Up next for the Mets, Petra Robert Gesellman. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. In now, Robert Gesellman. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Well, you know, giving up three straight hits is bad enough, but now it looks like he's starting to nibble a little bit. It's hard not to when you're getting hit, but you don't want to put yourself in bad counts. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. He's set. Here's the two-two. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. And Pollock will make the catch, and that ends the inning. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. On now to the bottom half of inning number four.
the Mets lead this one four to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, A.J. Pollock back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Line towards center field. And the Diamondbacks have their first hit of the game. Striding into the box, David Peralta comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. And that's in there. Base hit. Boy, that was a heck of an at bat. Weren't the count full? Pitcher thought for sure he'd be looking for fastball. He got a breaking ball, stayed with it, and got the base hit. That's about as good as it's going to get right there. Into the box, Paul Goldschmidt. He's fallen behind now, three and one. This is one of those rare hitters counts we've seen in this game. They're just having a difficult time getting it going. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. He's set. Here's the three and two. This one skied out toward right. On the move is Bruce. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Good read there at second base to know he could make it to third on the fly out. Now he's only 90 feet away with one out. Jake Lamb standing in now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. It hard but foul toward first, so he'll come back and line it up again. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Hit hard towards center. The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at their deficit. It's now a 4-1 game. Well, Matt has scored a lot of runs yesterday, and they're just now scoring today. But it's always who are you facing that particular day. The good pitching is the momentum stop, and that's what we've seen so far today. Stepping in now. Brendan Drury called strike on the inside and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. That pitch right there just locked him up. A curveball that doesn't break. A little front door curveball. You're looking for it to go back out over the plate and it doesn't. It just locks you up as a hitter. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here and it remains one and two. Runners are at first and second with one away. And he struck him out. Now batting. Next will be the left-handed hitting Jeremy Hazelbaker. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Swing and a ball hit high in the air to right center, carrying well. And look out in the pool area. It's a home run. So a three-run shot to right center field, his first home run of the season, as that'll pull him even at four apiece. Looking at that pitch again, you can see he just flat out missed his location. You put that pitch right there, and he's going to tattoo it. Now we're all tied up again, starting this thing all over. Standing in now, Oscar Hernandez. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Squared that one up just a little late. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. 
And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run home run. We're through four. All even now at four apiece. Digging in once again, Jose Reyes. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. A 1 and 1 count. Here's the pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Fouled straight back, and that got up here to the press box. Misses ball two. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Another try at 2 2. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Heading for second is Reyes. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. You always want to start an inning off with a bang, and I'd say this qualifies. He gets a fastball and doesn't try to do too much with it. Goes with it to the opposite field towards the gap and picks up the leadoff double. In now as Dribble Cabrera. Oh, good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Hazel Baker ranging back at the track. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. That was a pretty spectacular catch right there. A lot of guys mistimed that jump because they're worried about the wall coming on. But he got it just right and hauled it in. Great stuff. Into the box now, Joanna Cespedes. A fastball that just misses inside. That pitch right there, he's trying to keep him from getting his arms extended. If it's out over the plate more, he can obviously do a lot of damage with it. A change up right on the outside corner for a strike. This is a situation you love as a hitter. It's an RBI situation Taylor made for you. If you hit the ball on the ground, you're going to pick up that run and it's going to give you the lead. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Curtis Granderson waits on deck. He's set. Here's the three and two. Seared down the first baseline. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. Notch one in the score column as a runner from third crosses the plate. It's a five to four game. Up next for the Mets, center fielder, Curtis Granderson. Now here comes the Arizona skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's going to make a change here as that's going to be all tonight for Zach Greinke. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Enrique Burgos is going to take over here in inning number five. So it'll be a bullpen game from here on out. Curtis Granderson will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Granderson waits on the one two and he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. That's a big fastball obviously and we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. 
Another 1-2 delivery. Runners off for second. Pitch inside the throw, and it skips in as he steals the bag easily. So he's in safely there following the one-out steal of second, and with that, we take you to our team leaderboard to display the clubs with the most stolen bases so far this year. And you can see that the Mets are currently best in the senior circuit in that category. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Hazel Baker has a play. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now battle. Second baseman. Neil Walker. Ready once again. Neil Walker. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. High in the air out to center field. Pollock has a read on it. And that retires the side. The Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Mets out in front, five to four. And that'll bring in the middle infielder, Cattell Marte. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. But right to Cabrera, and that's the first out. Offense, apparently not hard to come by tonight as you get a look at our line score through the first half of the ball game. And boy, the runs have been coming fast and furious so far. Does money. And he lays off, nope. ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Well, you never want to issue a free pass if you can help it. But when a hitter like that digs in, you'd rather he's standing at first than driving a ball out of here and erasing your one-run lead. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however. He'll throw back to second to get the out, and that's going to be all they get. Boy, a risky play there, but it pays off. Definitely a risky and aggressive play for the pitcher there, but he made it work out. They've practiced plays like that a lot in spring training, so it paid off this time. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Riding in once again, Paul Goldschmidt. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. And he throws a cutter right by him to take control one and two. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. And it looks now like a right-hander's begun to get loose in the Mets' bullpen. And that one stayed too low, apparently. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get it to a worse hit. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. A couple of walks, but no damage. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. Randall Delgado takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 48, Randall Delgado. Here's Jay Bruce now. One for two on his line so far in the game. Ready on 0 and 2. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Here comes another 0 2. Lined hard to center field. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. 
Well, balls are flying all over the ballpark in this one here, right here, man. Lead off single, another one here in the middle innings to get things going. This has been a great offensive performance by both teams. Into the box, Lucas Duda takes a knee-high fastball. Now the Diamondbacks get a left-hander up and working in the bullpen. To two balls and two strikes now. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Swing, and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level back to back change ups and fouled that one off right there I don't think he's going to come back with the third one I got to be thinking some other pitch is coming and he swings and pops it foul behind the plate and he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one the batter. here's the catcher Actually. Travis Darno his previous Darneau. meetings with Randall Delgado one for three throw over to first and the throws in fact dropped. He's set. Here's the three and two. And this is going to be a foul ball. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Taken for strike three. The throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. They ran the risk of a strike him out, throw him out play there, but that was a good job of getting in there successfully. On three and two, there's a decent chance the hitter puts the ball in place, so it can be a good time to be aggressive just like that. Michael Conforto will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 30, Michael Conforto. Two out here and a runner at second. Hey. Called strike and he's behind one and two. Now for Bruce, that's stolen base number four on the year. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone and the inning is over. Back to back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Hansel Robles enters to do the pitching in the bottom the of the sixth. Number 47, Hansel Robles. Ready for another chance? Jake Lamb. He's one for two in the ball game. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next 3 2. Oh, forget about this one. Bob Bob Bowie. Into the pool area and gone. Solo shot to right center. Home run number five on the year as we are all tied at five. I think if this pitch would have been a little higher and in on his hands, it would have been effective. But he left this one belt high. Big mistake. He's a guy that will feast on belt high pitches on the inner half, which is pretty obvious now. Stepping in now, Brendan Drury. On oh, a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Base is empty here with nobody out. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. Oh, and he misses it.
not particularly graceful there, and as a result, he'll be slapped with an E4 on the play. Digging in and looking for more, Jeremy Hazelbaker comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Nobody out, runner on first. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Way in front of a great slider that time. Well, he gave up that leadoff home run, and I thought, uh-oh, he's in trouble. But he's done a nice job bouncing back. Got two quick outs, and now he's got two strikes on this hitter. He's got a chance to get out of this unscathed the rest of the way. This is just great pitching. They start him off with the slider to get the strike, and then they bust him in with a fastball. I don't know what he's thinking up there, but they really are messing with his mind right now. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Oscar Hernandez becomes out number two this inning. Two out with the man at first. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger and the side is retired. But the Diamondbacks come back to tie it on this solo home run. Top of the order due up to start the seventh. All even at five apiece. Welcome back to Chase Field here in Phoenix. All even at four as we start the seventh. And before that first pitch is thrown, we give you a look at the game summary to this point. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. J.J. Hoover plate. will come on These to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot now in the lineup on the double the switch spot. here. Number Nick Ahmed is into the ball game as well as he'll slide Hoover. into the pitcher's spot, now hitting ninth now on the double the switch. Spot. Number 13, Nick Ahmed. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Now here it comes. Oh, right down Main Street with that one. Two and two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. And that is going to get on through. So Reyes is aboard on a leadoff hit. So it's an inning opening single to kick off their half of the seventh. The Here now is this Drupal Cabrera leadoff man on base and we'll see what they have in mind strategy wise here. Working for the punch out and the offering. It's strike three called the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. I like the aggressiveness with two strikes to put the runner in motion. Sometimes that can backfire and it can turn into one of those strike him out, throw him out, double plays, but he was able to get there safely at second. Here's your one assessment. And it looks like this could be a critical at bat in this one. Well, the glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet. So this could be a fun at bat to watch. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Slow roller back to the mound. On to first, and there are two down. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. And that misses two and one. The two one now to Granderson. A fastball down near the shoe tops. 
Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. In tight ball four, and they're at the corners now with two away. Now batting. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Neil, Neil Walker. Walker. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Slider right over the middle, taken for a strike. Action now in the Arizona bullpen as they have a right hander up and throwing. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Rip down the first baseline. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Two left for the it's Mets. For the this ball game still tied 5 all. So coming to the plate, Nick Ahmed. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Foul back. One and two, here it comes. This ball will be chopped foul. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Standing in now, A.J. Pollard. Leaves a slider up high, but it's taken for a strike. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3-0 and turn to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. The right fielder, number six. Ready David once again, Peralta. David Peralta. A hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. Off speed pitch misses here and he runs it to three and one. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. Digging in to try it again. Paul Goldschmidt. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. One left for the Diamondbacks. This remains a five-all ball game. Andrew Chafin has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 40, Andrew Chafin. Ready for another shot now. Jay Bruce. Two hits and three at bats for him in this one. Here's the one and one pitch. Swing and a liner. Pollock is right there, one down. Well, this has been a bullpen game for some time now, but let's go back and review the performances of the two starters, neither of whom turned in an outing to remember. Here's Lucas Duda now. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Oh and it falls as he can't make the play. Here he comes again one two. And this is swung on and missed two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Riding in once again Travis Darno. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Hey. Two one pitches a slider taken for a cold strike two. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. 
down to first and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three. Our score holds at five apiece. Digging in once again, Jake Lamb. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. And now here comes Mets skipper Terry Collins out to home plate, and it looks like we'll see a double switch here. Jerry Blevins will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Rene Rivera will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Rene Rivera. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Hit hard, but foul to the left, and they'll try it again. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Into the box now, Brendan Drury. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Here it comes. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Well, they tried to put him away on two pitches low in the zone. He just wasn't biting. Nice job of hitting. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. That was a big strike out there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. In now, Jeremy Hazelbaker. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now. Two and two. Set to deal on two and two. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. And that is through into right field for a single. Hey, sometimes you got to just get lucky. He got out in front, hooked it, and just found the hole. Oscar Hernandez. Gregor Blanco will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number five, Gregor Blanco. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. All right, 3-2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. The 3-2 one more time. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulder. Side retired. One left for Arizona. This ball game still tied 5 all. Chris Iannetta is into the ball game here as he takes over behind the plate. Now catching number eight, Chris Iannetta. Into the box now, Rene Rivera. And his guys need him to get things started here in the top half of the ninth. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Fouled straight back. Another full count pitch home. And he lays off ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. In now, Jose Reyes. He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Go, go, 
Ready with another two strike offering. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Pollock patrolling center makes the play one out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. The shortstop number 13. Digging in the switch hitter as Dribble Cabrera. It's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Here's the 2 2 pitch. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three-two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. And that'll get down for a base hit. Throw into third, and he is in there at third is the possible go-ahead score. Late in the game, you don't want to give up the out by bunting the man over. So you put the hit and run on. Nice job. Now you got a runner at third base. Let's see if they can get him in. Into the box, Joanna Cespedes. He swings and grounds it to short, and he will deliver one of the biggest at bats of the night. It's a base hit. And to score is the runner from third. It's now a 6 5 ball game. Well, that's a huge base hit. Anytime you get a hit late in the game to give you the lead in the ball game, you feel good about yourself, and his teammates are pumped up as well. Evan Marshall enters the game with now one gun in the top of inning number nine. Number 50, Evan Marshall. Stepping in now, Curtis Granderson. Fastball called strike, one and two. Anderson waits on the one two in the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Pollock on the run. And he makes the catch for the second out. Here's Neil Walker. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much. 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amends. Well, if your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. Hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Another payoff pitch. Struck him out, so it remains a one-run lead as they head in for their final set of swings. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Mets six and the Diamondbacks five. Jerry Familia takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Jerry Familia. Daniel Descalzo will pinch hit here, and Number he's three. the potential tying run. Daniel Descalzo. And a slider misses here. Two balls and a strike. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. On, he pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. Duda is there for it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The batter number 13, Digging in for his second at bat, Nick, Nick Ahmed. Ahmed. Lifetime against Familia. Hitless in three at bats. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Soft liner towards center, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Number nine batter comes through that time, as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. Oh, you're so frustrated as a pitcher. You make the perfect pitch, you jam him, and he's still strong enough to fight it off to put it in the outfield for him. Digging in now, A.J. Pollock. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. Bruce has a read on it. 
makes the play and there are two gone now. Digging in, David, David Peralta. Peralta, a hit in two tries so far. Here's the 2-1. Down the first baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he will make the catch ranging backward as he just put the glove up and hauls it in for the final out of the ball game. Well, that's just a great job of battling on the road. They fought all the way to the end, took the lead in the top of the ninth, and secured the W in the bottom half. That's a great team win. Tonight's one run game comes to an end six to five the final Jerry Blevins claims the win out of the pen his first Jerry Spamilia records the save his 13th of the year so that'll put a wrap on things here this evening for my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak I'm Matt Vaskersian this has been a presentation of MLB the show for more follow us on Twitter at MLB the show six runs 11 hits.